Greetings, boys, girls, and gender rebels. I'm Penny Underbust, and today I thought I would do a little bit of a review for a website. Um, okay, so I got contacted a couple weeks ago by the website Dress Gal asking to show off some of their wares. Now, Dress Gal is one of those really cheap Chinese clothes stores, and as a giant lady, giant woman, I've always avoided buying from those stores because I was certain that it was very unlikely that anything would fit me. But because the store actually contacted me, I thought this would be an excellent opportunity to check out their stuff, see how funky everything is, and um, give you guys an opinion of someone who is a giant woman <laughs> what some of these clothing items are like. Um, I got a couple of clothing items and a lot of like trinkets and stuff just because I wanted to get something really awesome out of it. Um, yeah, I thought I'd show you all the, the goodnesses. The goodnesses! So, the first thing, and actually probably one of my favorite things in there, actually, honestly, spoiler alert, I like it all quite a lot. But, <laughs> I got these roses. <laughs> they're like, they're just fairy lights. And they're blue. And they're really pretty. And unfortunately, they were out of pink when I was doing my order, but I thought it would be really excellent to get some pink versions of these and incorporate them in a rose quartz cosplay. Um, because they even have a battery pack, so you don't need to plug them in or anything, but you could totally weave this in with her ridiculous hair, and somewhere in her hair you could hide this battery pack, it'd be so easy. And just have light up roses in your hair all day at a convention. And that would be the most awesome thing ever, so... Hells yes to these roses. S exceeded expectations. A++. Okay. Now, I will show you... What have I got? Well, first of all... I got this excellent bag. There's this... Um, gosh, I think it's... Yeah, well, this one's Korean, but... There's this animation that I'm pretty sure is Korean that is about... A kitty cat and a bunny rabbit and the bunny rabbit falls wildly in love with the kitty cat and it's really really cute and um the cat's like not interested but it's done in this animation style and it's probably the same artist but i saw this and i got so excited because it's a little bunny rabbit with coffee so it's a picture of me <laughs> and so now i have an excellent little bag to tote around at conventions with me with just the essentials but that's still very in theme with myself and within it i got all of my loot Okay, so, I got these cute little gloves. Now, I got the gloves because I also have really large hands and these are a one size fits all thing. And I was like, I'll give this a go. I don't have like huge hands, but for a, for a girl, they're larger than average, but they'd be similar to an average male hand. But as you can see, the gloves fit super well. And they're so cozy and so adorable. I love them! Oh my gosh! And they're fluffy fluffy! Oh! Fluffy gloves! <laughs> so yeah, really big fan of these too! And next up, what have we got in my little magical bag? Okay. I got these sunnies, or fun glasses, or... What do you guys, what do Americans, I feel like shades is the right term. And they're pretty great. They have little flowers and they're metal. And they're actually really comfortable as well because even though they're metal, the nose guard is plastic. She says getting the metal caught on her hair like a noob. No, <laughs> the ear guards are plastic and the nose guard is plastic. So, Yes, thug life, baby! Wow! Penny, you're not a thug. There's nothing thug thuggish about you, dear. Dream big. I got so much loot in my little bunny bag. Got so much loot. Alright, so I thought I would try another string of roses because I love fairy lights. I'm one of those people who doesn't need it to be Christmas to bling out with fairy lights. 
I'm perfectly happy having them set up all year round. So I grabbed two sets of row strings. Now I need to move the batteries from my other one into this one. So these ones I got a purpley color. It looked pink on the website, but it's kind of fuchsia, -y? which I guess is pink penny. Stop fussing. But yeah, really pretty. Really, really pretty. I don't like them as much as I like the fabric ones, but they're still insanely pretty. I don't even know if you can see them properly because of the lighting, but... So pretty, right? Oh my goodness! So now, I have three clothing items left. I'm gonna show you the first one, but I can't wear it on film because it's totes pornographic. Um, you guys might have seen a BuzzFeed article going around a while ago that was like, this swimsuit looks good on everybody, and it had like a bunch of different shaped bodies wearing this black stringy swimsuit. Now, I only found out about that article because I posted myself wearing the exact same swimsuit to one of my Facebook groups. But it's like, it's so bonerific. Like, you don't even know how great it looks. I might make a gallery and put it on my website of me in this. And if I do, it will be down in the description box. But I'm not sure, because it might just be a little bit too R18. Simply because... I do have a pretty out there body, but love it. Cannot recommend it enough. So sexy. And the second article of clothing. I'm totally into crop tops at the moment because they look really good on top of corsets, but I got Mickey Mouse hand crop top. This is the thing that I thought was mo like least likely to fit me because it didn't look too stretchy from the image, but ugh, ee, ugh. toast fits. Yay! And I, I'm, I'm big, <laughs> you know, I'm not, I'm not super tiny, like I'm not super short, which makes things look like, you know how some, some people are really petite and then they're chubby, so things that are normal sizes might fit on them. No, I'm, I'm huge. I have really large bone structure. I'm quite tall. And then on top of that, I'm chubby. So the fact that this does stretch to fit my milk mounds is like an awesome achievement on their part. Totally dig it. Totally love it. Totally going to wear it next time I go to Disney. Yes. And finally, I got a fluffy bunny sweater. I actually have like six bunny themed sweaters now and I love all of them. And I got this specifically because it is also like, I think it only had limited sizing, if it had sizing at all. It may have been one size fits all, I can't remember. But it's polar fleece and this crap is so stretchy. <laughs> So, you know, when you're big, you sort of get used to buying things, regardless of what size they are, you just go off of the material type. And if it's made out of certain types of materials, you know it's gonna fit you, and it, it'll probably look good if it's certain things. And so I took a risk with this one, and I do not regret it at all. As you can see, whoa, the sweater does fit, and I can move my arms around and everything, which is the bane of people who are chubby as well because usually it'll just fit but then you can't lift your arms and move them and flail like a crazy person ah! but I totally can with this um I'm gonna show you a full body thing probably gonna splice that in right now oh yeah look at it yeah yeah as you can tell though it doesn't zip up over my boobs ain't stretchy enough for boob zippage but it does fit over the rest of my body, which is pretty damn great. And it's got this pocket at the front so I can be a kangaroo bunny. Yep, yep, yep. So yeah, I'm gonna leave all of the appropriate links to get these items yourself down in the description bar. Um, also the website is dressgal.com. I actually highly recommend them. I mean, if you are big, you have to be careful when you're ordering from the clothing. Like I said, look for certain fabric types and stuff. But when I was careful, 100% of the things that I ordered fit. And I wasn't like, I was trying to push it a bit. Like I didn't think the crop top would have enough stretch and I thought the gloves would be too small. And I was pleasantly, pleasantly disappointed <laughs> in both cases. So 
genuine thumbs up for this whole thing. A plus plus. Would buy again, probs will. If you've enjoyed this video, please leave a thumbs up and a comment down in the comment section because that is what all the cool bunnies do. Yay! From the bottom of my little black heart. Thank you for watching. Bye! Oh, I'm putting on a sweater and I'm out of frame. I'm not very framed, yes, I'm out of frame. And I'm probably quite loud because I'm closer to the microphone. Closer to the microphone, yeah. I can't see the bottom of the zipper because my boobs are in the way. Yes, my boobs are in the way. Oh, no.